Hi everyone, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. I wanted to show you today what I discovered yesterday while watching my own video. I remembered a technique that I'd forgotten and I started playing with it and discovered that there's a very easy way to make petals. So this is how I did it. First of all, let me tell you what you're going to need. I'm using pitch black and uh, you're going to need some cotton swabs. The PSI on my compressor is set at 40. That's 40, 40. Let me just straighten out my paper. And I'm going to start by putting down some pitch black. And then I'm going to dry it. All right, so the key here is that I'm going to put down my alcohol and then I'm going to rest the nozzle of my airbrush on the paper at a slight angle, just enough distance that my fingers are touching the table also. All right, so that's the first thing you need to know. And then I'm going to put down my drop of alcohol and I'm going to start And small spurts, cleaning up the alcohol as I go along with a cotton swab. And continue doing this until the alcohol is completely dry. The first round will give you these very pale, pale petals. But notice I didn't have to move my airbrush at all. So now turn your paper, put down the next drop of alcohol, and do the same thing. I'm using small spurts and cleaning up the alcohol and shaping my petal as I go along. Make sure to change out your cotton swab because if you have ink on it and you continue to use it, all you're going to do is, instead of cleaning it up, you're going to be adding more ink to the paper. How easy is this? You don't even have to move your airbrush. So you'll see that although these petals are really light, if you go over them a second time, they do get darker and I'll show you that in a moment.
Okay, I'm going to finish this and then we'll come right back and I'll show you how to make them darker. Okay, I'm on my last petal. So take note of how far away I am from that ink puddle with the airbrush. And I'm using small spurts and cleaning up the alcohol as I go along. And once the petal reaches a length I'm happy with, and I've shaped it the way that I want it, again, I don't move the airbrush nozzle, just leaning against the paper and drawing the petal to the very end. Now this gives you, like I said, a very faint petal, but it's a really pretty effect still. Now, if you want to make them darker, you can just go over them. And I'll show you, I'm gonna put one here in between. Now you can see that it's getting darker. The petals are getting darker. So let's put another one over here. It's nice to have the darker petals in the front and the lighter ones in the back. So let's make a couple of more and then we'll do the center. Notice that I'm shaping my petal as well by cleaning up the alcohol. And it's best to uh, stop blowing when you're cleaning up. Because if you keep your Q-tip down while you're blowing, it can change the direction of the flow of the air and it can give you an issue. It can create some weird petals. So, all right, this will be my last one here. Now I like the shape of this petal, so when I see I have too much alcohol, I'm just going to mop a little bit up. I don't need to shape this petal. I obviously have to do one more right here. Note again, lay your airbrush down on the other side of the paper with your fingers resting against your table, and that should be the right angle. Put your alcohol down and start spraying right away using small spurts 
of air until you see the direction that it's taking. Use your cotton swab to mop up any excess alcohol or to reshape your petal. Once you get it where you want it, as long as you want it and the shape is good, don't move the airbrush, just continue to blow until the petal is completely dry at the tip. And take a look at that, how easy.